Uh, welcome back to the vlog, everybody. My name is Kyle Bethune with Being Bethunes, and uh, welcome. Thank you for being here, whether you've been here before or this is your first time ever stumbling across this old channel. But we are uh, up a bit early this morning. We are, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. We're headed over to Brandon, Florida today. Uh, actually, the last place we lived before we decided to live in this old bus back here behind me. Um, Jen's booked me, Molly, and herself some hair appointments at a longtime friend slash uh, beautician over there. So we're going to be headed over there today in a little bit and get haircuts. And I don't know, explore a little bit. Maybe I can show you our old houses over there because we have two houses right in that general vicinity. I know there's some good eatings over there. I do know that area pretty well. So yeah, it'd be pretty exciting. I'm definitely, uh, I just really want to thank you for being here as always. And I'm out here walking behind the bus right now. Let me show you... Uh, What's going on back here? Some turkeys back here, wild turkeys lingering behind all these RVs right here. Our bus is over here a little bit and there's just like little block of pine trees here. And over here, look at this, five, five or six turkeys. There's a couple of adults. So actually there's a duck mixed in there. I see there's four turkeys. You got one, two, three, four, and then there's a duck mixed over there but somebody is probably feeding them at this point i don't want to get too close because i have seen those shows wild animals do attack boy theodore would be uh or is that a i guess those are turkeys i to say they're like buzzards but maybe those are those are turkeys i hear turkeys aren't the smartest animals in the animal kingdom yeah one's kind of moved over there oh here comes some more ducks this it might be a showdown here in a minute i'm not really sure what's going on out here someone's probably definitely feeding them because they seem to all be congregated around this one general area here anyways we're gonna we're gonna get started but first coffee with oat milk no sweetener and that'll do it all right give me just a quick moment i'm gonna check in on earl gray tea in the back okay I got myself a venti iced coffee with oat milk. Pretty much the same thing I get every trip through Starbucks. I got a chocolate cake pop and a hot chocolate. And I got a Earl Grey tea with some egg bites. I'm having some panic this morning, so. Yeah, we gotta head over toward the Tampa Bay area, so it means a good stretch of driving on Interstate 4 during a rough, you know, pretty busy time of day, but we're gonna be okay. We're gonna take our time and uh, get there when we get there. So we have made our way over to Valrico, Florida, some of our old stomping grounds here. And we're gonna show you my our first house that me and Jen purchased together. Uh, this one was in Valrico, and I was, I'm gonna kind of show you the drive to the second one because it's relatively close. It's actually really close. But um, this is a, just kind of a private neighborhood. I think there's around a dozen or so homes in here. But yeah, this one right here, that's it. The big, uh, I don't know, it looks green now. I'm not exactly sure what. I think, actually, this is the color I think we painted it before we left. So this was a massive house. This thing, I mean, as you can tell, it's like 3,500 square feet. Um, I would be, I would, I would be absolutely terrified to live in that house now. Um, but it, it was a great neighborhood. You know, we had some great neighbors. Uh, we had some good memories in that house. You know, it was, uh, it was. You know, luckily we were. This was back when real estate really was super low in Florida, and we were able to get in such a big house that we could absolutely not afford today. But yeah, this was Jen's dream house. She came and looked at it in an open house one day and uh she had to have it and we ended up we were able, able to secure it we lived there around three years i believe we everything everywhere we've lived seems to be around three years so we lived there around three years and i got I, like i said i grew up on a farm so i got to really missing some space we only had a third of an acre back there so i was like you know we really enjoyed the area we were in so we you know we wanted something close by but we did want a little more space and being the area that we are currently in, that's not easy to do. It's a very populated area. So we found, we came a street down and uh, we uh, started looking and uh, we, we found an old house up here on the left that was built in the 1960s and had relatively not been changed at all since the 1960s. A gentleman in his 90s owned the place and he just kind of kept it the way it was and his wife ended up passing away and uh, he ended up moving closer to his children. Uh, but a very interesting man. Uh, 
I don't really have time to tell the whole story of the guy, but he was like, an, I believe he was an inventor. He had a kind of an interesting story, but our property line started up here on the left, just past this Honda, right, right behind this Honda SUV right here. So we ended up with two acres here on Mount Carmel Road. Um, so that's just basically undeveloped. And here was the single family home that we completely redid. Um, so it, it was two acres of land. It went, we had a huge backyard. Um, Jen's grooming salon was actually on property there behind the carport area. We put in a little building. Um, but funny thing about this road, the right side of the road is Valrico. So we were just, uh, the previous house was in Valrico. And the other house, the, the, uh, the second home we purchased was in Brandon. So this road right here, Mount Carmel Road, was the road that separated the two towns. Um, you know, have a lot of memories in those houses, some good, some bad, probably more bad than good, um, but that's okay. You know, it's like Jen said on the way here, it kind of helped mold us into the people we are today. And I think that's a good thing. You know, I think every one of us go through something at some point in our lives to uh, help us become who we're meant to be. And for me and her, or at least a good portion of our journey has was right there, you know, between the two houses, we spent probably around seven years. And, uh, you know, the kids were born in those houses, or at least, Molly and Eli and um, a lot of memories there. We have made ourselves to the Brandon Town Center and now I believe it's called the Westfield Shopping Center. This place is built in the 90s and at the time it was one of the largest malls in North America. I remember it being a really big deal when it first opened. Um, but as in most malls around the country, it's it's kind of seems to be on a decline and I've heard some from people that have visited recently that it's really apparent that it's on the decline at this point. But we want, Molly wanted to come to the mall, so we're gonna come in and shop for a little bit, or we have a little bit of time to kill, so we're gonna kinda just hang out and see what's going on and see, uh, see how this place looks now. I remember coming here when it first opened. It was the place to be for many, many years. So I need you guys to let me know, like, uh, have you noticed in your part of the world or part of the country that malls seem to be kind of dwindling away um i think you know it's just a sign of the times it's a good place here what me and jen have always liked pf chains a uh maybe like an asian fusion type restaurant they always have this giant horse out here standing guard at their front door so as we first enter the mall i mean you can see a vacant building right here i mean a vacant store you know i just i could imagine 30 years ago, 25 years ago, it was probably a waiting list to get in this place. Oh, and there's another one over there, a large store called Papaya. Like that's a that's a premium location right outside the food court there, sitting vacant. I remember this right here used to be the um, Disney store when Disney still operated stores in uh, retail locations like at malls and outlet malls, but it is no more. Molly's wanting to check out PacSun real quick, so we're gonna roll up in here and see what she wants. Let's take a quick stroll through the food court here in preparation for lunch that's coming up. I have yet to eat today, so I imagine before we go to the hair appointment, we will grab a bite to eat of some sort. Got me classic Great American Cookie Company here as you enter the food court. Probably not the best option for me to, <laughs> to have lunch today. I'm sure you got an old trusty Chick-fil-A here on the, as the anchor as you first come into the food court. Looks like they got a pizza spot. There's a Popeye's chicken. Oh, they got a Chipotle. Molly will be pretty psyched about that. Okay. Old good old reliable Chipotle. They have something called Perry's Barbecue Cajun Grill. Call it a Cajun Grill, but to me it looks like the majority of it is uh, Chinese. They have a Charlie's cheese steaks over here. A Thai Max, if Thai is your their flavor. They've got a um, it's an empty vacant building here. And then they have a Japanese, it's like maybe like a hibachi place. And then they've got a China Max here, which appears to have traditional mall Chinese food, which actually looks fantastic. But yeah, not a lot. It all seems so much smaller now. I, mean, I used to come here. Uh, have you guys ever noticed that whenever you're visiting your hometown, when you go somewhere that you haven't been in a long time and you, you go to visit and it just looks substantially smaller or maybe smaller isn't the word. Maybe, I don't 
don't know. It may, it may be smaller is the word, but just not as grand or not as what, you know, you just build it up in your head differently. Unless they have like a gourmet pop or a cotton candy stand over here called Fluffies, where they can create custom cotton candy creations here. I, I, don't, I may skip the cotton candy for lunch today. I, I, I don't know that that would be a good balance good thing to balance my diet for the day. I don't, I don't really eat a lot of sweets anymore. Sugar's not really my thing. Since looks like planted poinsettias or left the poinsettias from the holiday season in here. And it's got a manatee. You can tell it was definitely a water feature at one time. It's kind of oxidized and you can tell water has ran through it for many years, but now it's just a, a manatee statue. And you can actually still see some of the, the money inside there where people are throwing it in the fountain. As we make our way toward one end of the mall, that used to be the Sears Anchor Store, one of the anchor stores right there, Sears. And there appears to be quite a few vacant shops down this section of the mall. It's, it's really sad, you know, I don't know. I think technology's great, Amazon's great, but man, you really lose a sense of, I don't know, it just, it was an event. Like it was an, it was a, it was an activity to go to the mall. Like look at this one right here closed up tight not a sign on the wall like they just they cut the electrical cables and just just left <laughs> they made it took their sign with them um but like i don't know it's just it's so kind of almost eerie feeling in here like you like you go in the stores and there's no one in them but yeah that was a sears store i don't, I don't even know if sears is still actively in business anymore but like there's just i mean you look at this there's i mean us and like this place is a ghost town. There, there's literally no one here. Me and Molly went with Chipotle for lunch. I got a rice, white rice base. I did some pinto beans, fajita veggies, carnitas, which is something I've kind of switched to here lately. Um, mild, I'm sorry, medium and medium salsa, corn, sour cream, and cheese. Molly's got the OG over here. What, tell, tell them what you got. I get um, carnitas, pico, lettuce, Cilantro lime rice, sour cream, and cheese. And dad took the carnitas from me. Okay, looks good. So I have said before in previous videos, I like to get me a little tortilla on the side. And I'm a big fan of the green Tabasco, kind of how I customize my Chipotle. And I kind of create little, gosh, that's hot, mini burritos, if you will. At one time, they included the tortilla for free but now it's in a 50 cent upcharge everything's really hot but let's give it a shot mm. you know chipotle's been a solid pick for me this winter we've eaten here way too many times without me <laughs> you know it's one of those places you can kind of rely on to get a good quality meal it's still somewhat affordable and i don't know it's healthy-ish I think it's going to wrap up our time here at the Brandon Town Center, as I call it. I don't know what the heck it's actually called nowadays. But yeah, it's kind of sad to see something, you know, I spent a good, I went on dates there, you know, Christmas shop there for many years. And it's just kind of sad to see it all dwindling away. But I think that's the common theme for most of these shopping mall type places across the country because it's just becoming a thing of the past like so many other things. But now we got to move on and... We still have a little time to kill before we have to get our hair did. So we're gonna keep moving and uh, get there eventually. All right, so we have made it to the Swank Hair Lounge here in Brandon, Florida, and we're about to head in. So Molly, what are you expecting to get done to your hair? I'm doing a simple butterfly cut. So let's hope that turns out how I want it. Let's see the before. Okay. Wow, that hair's nice and long. I haven't had a trim in like five years because I don't like to. Well, I think you're at the right place. So for me, I don't know. I just, I told Jen, I just kind of want to get where I can wear my hair down a little more because I haven't cut my hair in over two years and it basically just falls in my face constantly if I don't. Kind of hoping for a trim and to be able to wear it down a little more like when we're going on the cruise, the dinner. I pretty much just wear it up all the time or wear a headband. So it takes my hair ties. Kind of excited. <laughs> So, Miss, what are you planning on doing with your uh, love, luscious locks? Um, actually, I'm letting Tina do whatever she wants to do, so I have no idea how my hair is going to turn out. Can you give us a quick spin? Okay. 
That yeah, that's the longest I've seen Jer ugh, Jen's hair in a few <laughs> Jen's hair in a few years. So I'm curious to see yeah. how it turns out. It'll be great. All right, it's time for the appointment, so we got to roll. All right, we're gonna come in and see Molly's big reveal here. What's your, what's it looking like, Molly? It's looking good. It's looking right. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, looking like such a big girl. Oh yeah, sorry. I just added a few years to her. <laughs> Now she not only acts like a teenager, she right. looks like a teenager. Looks like a teenager. <laughs> awesome, looks great. I love it. That looks good. It ends to look great. It looks like you've grown out hair color here. Oh. Yeah, it's getting gray up, right? I can see the more gray coming in. So, like, he wants to wear it down. Down, and he's shaving. Oh, you gotta smile on this second go round. God, what I fucking do like this. Who is this blue haired beauty right here? Hello, handsome. Wow. I have very blue hair and purple and purple and peacock peacock-esque oh. oh wow peacock-esque hair do you like it yeah i do do you like yours yeah it looks good i guess yeah. i'll just show them um, oh yeah what about molly you like your hair i do you already put a headband in it yeah so yeah this is my new do i like it because she kind of fixed it where i don't know she just kind of shaped it trimmed it up a bit like i said i haven't cut my hair in over two years this past january was two years so I'm sure I was a little overdue, but no, I, so far I like it a lot. It's, I think I think it'll grow on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I think it's like we can get you some some product and yeah, put it in your hair. Very pleased. So yeah, check out Tina if you're in the hair cutting hair hair uh, cutting need here in uh, Brandon, Florida. She's the girl to go see Swank Hair Society. Swank, Swank hair, hair Society. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm dropping Jen off at some friends of ours and she's going to hang out for a little bit and I'm going to head out and play some pickleball for a while. So. so you're dropping me off at my play date so you can go to yours? That's it. That's really cute. Have fun. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. So yeah, the guy, the group of guys or group of people play a couple nights a week, uh, full-time families. I'm in a chat with them. So I'm going to head out and play pickleball for an hour or so and swing back by and grab Jen and head home and get ready for bed. It's been quite a significant amount of time since I last recorded. Just another one of those days, guys. Man, it's I am ready to get back on the road. I am ready to travel. I'm ready to be in new places. Um, I, I'm grateful for my time here and everything. It's been good. It's been great. But um, I'm just ready to get back home. I'm, I call it home now. Road's the home. I'm just ready to get back on the road because that's where I feel most at home. Oh my god, my hair looks ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for me today. I, I don't know. Weird video, weird day. Better things are coming, guys. But I appreciate you sticking in there with me, as always, guys. And uh, take care of yourselves and each other. I love you guys.